In part three of our Great Western Plains adventure... Welcome to Dubbo Jail. Children must be supervised. Help me. Yeah, thanks, son. Love you too. Keep the noise down. Today we are headed off to Dubbo Zoo, officially known as Taronga Western Plains Zoo, located five hours from Sydney. Today we decided to go on a backlot and savannah safari tour, and then we drove our own car around. Taronga believes that humans and animals can live together on this planet. Join us for part one of our Dubbo Zoo series where we learn all about what Taronga is doing for animal conservation. Taronga, for the wild. Good morning, it's Zoo Day! Yay! Yay! We got a big storm this morning so we weren't too sure if we were going to go today but then leave it till tomorrow but we have decided to press on because we looked at the weather and it looks like it's going to pass through so um, there is a zoo safari at 10.30, 10.45 where we get to feed the rhinos. Rhino. So we're rhinos! This is the entrance everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Oh baby, it's so exciting, isn't it? Are you excited? Elephant! We're going to go and buy our ticket. We're so excited. We're going to the safari. And it's not the first time we've been. But we're excited to be going again. There's something different every time at a zoo. Siberian turkey. Oh, I think somebody might have put in there. Come on, let's go. Hey, that's like your t-shirt, Saxon. Saxon! Look. Give him a little pat. The Siamang, what are they, apes or monkeys? Siamang, I've seen apes and I've seen monkeys. I'm not too sure. I guess this is what the talk's about. We'll find out. But they're Mommy, uh, Daddy, funny little creatures. They've got big balloons under their chins and they make the most amazingly loud noises and then they stop like statues. So, look, I see. The boys will probably be like these. <laughs> oh, there they are. Isn't that great? How big are they? Oh, he's pooing in the water. And look, a duck's going to come in. Oh, no, no, duck, no. Oh, <laughs> no, he did it. <laughs> That's nature for you, son. We'll ask that when they do call um, for everyone to stay really quiet and just appreciate the call because it is a threatened and territorial call. Um, it's to ward off other primates from the area and tell them that that's where they are and not to come within that territory. You'll notice that the female will be the one that starts the call to do like a usual barking sound. The male will crescendo in after that and he's quite loud and generally will finish with a bit of a pose which is a territorial pose. So the team, he's gathering everyone up now. He's going to tell the female this is that boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. 
this before we came. Does anyone remember? Who remembers? They're only little. Who likes jelly beans? Oh. Okay, think pink jelly beans. Wow. That's a baby koala when it's born. It's like a dog. <laughs> so what all kidneys eat in the wild? Does anyone know? Bugs? Ants? Bugs, ants, that's right. Worms, grubs, all that sort of thing. It's a quokka. What? What? A quokka. Oh, that's a quokka. There we go. It's a hot day at the zoo and it has been a fantastic day. We've been dodging storms all day. There's like a, a sun over our heads and wherever we're going, I don't know, it's like it rains all around the zoo but not in the zoo. There's this big storm coming but we're going to go and try and see the Bengal tigers and the lions quickly. Oh my god, and yeah, thank you. I'll get it right eventually. It's been a bit of a crazy day. I think I'm all heat stroked. <laughs> heat stricken. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna miss him. All right. At every enclosure, Bazzy's eating. <laughs> and I think a bit of rap just came flying out of his nostril. Oh! This is a great zoo, and they're all about the conservation of wildlife. Let's have a look and see if he's maybe having a swim, having a sunbake, or just completely disappeared and we can't see anything. Oh, look, there he is. No, there's one here. Hey, let's go down further. Quick, 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 quick. Here he is. He's coming. Here we go. Let's stay here. Stay here. Stay here. He's going to come this way. Fuzzy, look. You wolfing? No, not that big. Not <laughs> <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Run! Come on, you're gonna miss the wild dogs. Go! We're gonna, we're gonna miss the show. We had no idea. I know. Quick! Let's have a look at the tortoises, boys. That's pretty size, isn't it? Around the fairy. Hello, you little sweet thing. You're so cute. That's having a piggyback ride with me. Lots of activity going on for such a slow moving creature. He's fascinating. Just watching those two turtles go nuts. Look at him. Can't get over it. <laughs> Had a good first day at the zoo. Really enjoyed the safari. The safari was the close animal encounter was fantastic. We really enjoyed it. He's burning. He's burning, is he? Oh, rhino. I did like the tigers and the rhinos. Yeah. Like the big fella. Big Oh, very cute. Good fun. Can't wait to come back tomorrow. The weather was wonderful. We were really looked after. I couldn't believe how lucky. <laughs> we better get out of here, Groovers. <laughs> It's really blue, mate. Yes. Very blue. You got blue gums. Oh, no way. I've got a slushy as well. What on earth? You're like a blue tongue lizard. See my fully blue tongue. I got a blue eyeball, I think. 
Coming up in part five, we show you the wild animal encounter where we go on a behind the scenes tour learning about animal conservation and we get to meet the sweetest new addition to the zoo, Kamari. <laughs>